Welcome to an overview of the Project WET program and how that program is implemented in Colorado. My name is Scott Williamson. I am the Education and Outreach Coordinator at Water Education Colorado. Water Education Colorado is the leading organization for informing and engaging Coloradans on water issues. We are the host institution for Project WET in Colorado. I am the state coordinator for Project WET. This webinar is intended for Project WET facilitators, educators, and those interested in resources available through Project WET. The purpose of this webinar is to update Project WET facilitators on resources available through the 2011 Activity and Curriculum Guide 2.0. This webinar will also introduce participants to additional resources available through Project WET, with a focus on online resources. I will also briefly introduce the Facilitator Handbook for Colorado Project WET. To add a Colorado perspective, I will include ideas for incorporating local context and data. The webinar will conclude with an overview of the Statewide Water Education Action Plan for Colorado. This webinar does not substitute for a Project WET facilitator or educator training. If you are a certified Project WET facilitator, you will be eligible to update from Guide 1.0 to Guide 2.0 after watching the entire webinar. For those interested in becoming a certified Project WET educator, look for upcoming trainings on the Water Educator Network page within the Water Education Colorado website. We highly encourage scheduled trainings for the benefit of engaging with peer educators and practicing activities real time. If you are unable to attend a scheduled training, you may purchase an online training from the Project Wet Foundation store. Please email scott at wateredco.org for more details. Before moving forward, I want to highlight an important development for water education in Colorado. For the first time, Colorado water educators have a common agenda that you can use to help realize the goals set forth in the Colorado Water Plan. I will go into more depth about this plan, known as SWEEP, near the end of the webinar. Now for an overview of Project WET. The mission of Project WET is advancing water education to understand global challenges and inspire local solutions. The vision for Project WET is a world in which action-oriented education enables everyone to understand and value water, ensuring a sustainable future. Project WET has a new look, which I will introduce with this short video. These are the faces of Project WET. For the past 35 years, this has also been the face of Project WET. Starting this spring, that face is changing. Water Education Today, advancing water education to understand global challenges and inspire local solutions. Water Education Today, because we can't wait until tomorrow to understand our precious water resources. Water Education Today, because solutions are needed now to solve global challenges. Because teachers use and love Project WET, but Project WET users aren't only teachers. Because people from all walks of life are already using Project WET. Because park rangers, scout troop leaders, utility workers, public servants, corporate employees, and so many others love to use Project WET to teach about water. The faces of Project WET aren't changing, and neither is what we do. We are Project WET. Water education today. The Project WET Foundation was created in 2005. Over 40 countries partner with Project WET, including this list, and over 20 additional countries around the world. Project WET has a set of core beliefs. These include that water connects us all, water is vital for all water users, managing water sustainably is crucial and that personal responsibility for water resources is essential. The Project WET USA network includes multiple different levels of involvement. Project WET coordinators provide leadership training, compile annual reports, 
participate in national teams to further develop Project WET USA. These state operations are run out of host institutions like Water Education Colorado. Project WET facilitators conduct Project WET work workshops for educators and are ambassadors to the program throughout the area or the state. Project WET educators include teachers, non-formal educators, municipal leaders, community members, boys and girls clubs, scouting groups, watershed associations, corporations, etc. And they use the curriculum and activities directly with students. Project WET educator workshops are for educators who want the Project WET curriculum for the purpose of teaching students, but are not certified to teach other adults. These trainings include a minimum of six hours. Project WET educator guides can only be obtained by taking and finishing a workshop led by a Project WET facilitator or coordinator. These workshops cover a minimum of five Project WET activities. And Project WET facilitator workshops are for individuals who want to train other adults and are committed to teamwork with the host institution like Water Education Colorado and Project WET USA programs. The workshops are a minimum of 12 hours and train facilitators how to train educators. Project WET facilitators must be trained by host institution coordinators, such as through Water Education Colorado. Project WET demonstration workshops are informative presentations that excite the public about Project WET and that inspire the public to become involved. These demonstration workshops involve one to two Project WET activities, information on upcoming workshops, and Project WET background, including goals and objectives. Project WET advanced workshops are usually 10 hours or more and provide an in-depth look at a particular water topic, providing teachers and professionals in the field with resources and more focused information on a topic such as groundwater. Project WET has a set of water concepts that help provide a framework for Guide 2.0. Later, you can compare these concepts to the critical water concepts for Colorado identified in the Statewide Water Education Action Plan. Project WET is designed to be interdisciplinary and supplemental. We recognize that schools and organizations have existing water curriculum. Project WET can help bridge subject areas and enhance the teaching of water education in a variety of subject areas, even where curriculum exists. Project WET Guide 2.0 activities are designed around educational stages from awareness to participation to finding solutions to water resource problems. The progression shown in this graphic can be compared with the SWEEP Education Continuum later in the webinar. Project WET 2.0 was published in 2011 and is an update from the original Project WET Curriculum and Activity Guide. Project WET is keeping up with the need to provide online resources for educators and learners. Online resources include projectwet.org, the homepage for Project WET which provides many links to resources across the Project WET network. Project WET Distance Learning, which provides virtual learning resources. Project WET Educator Portal, a great resource for trained educators, which I will review shortly. The Project WET Store, where you can purchase a variety of Project WET curricula and materials. Project WET USA, which is the website for Project WET coordinators to share resources. DiscoverWater.org, a set of interactive online resources with several activities that are modeled after classic Project WET activities. Project WET distance learning resources are updated and changed on an ongoing basis and currently include educator online trainings, homeschool resources, student lessons and tutorials, student booklets, and DiscoverWater.org. Once you have completed a Guide 2.0 training, you will receive the hard copy Guide 2.0. Inside the guide, you will find your code to log in to the Project WET portal. The new portal is far more streamlined than the previous version and starts with tabs for either Project WET guide right up front. 
Some Guide 1.0 activities are also available on the portal, as listed here. All activities can now be searched using any and all of the same appendices titles that are in the back of your project web guide. Every activity has its own page. Blue River is pictured here. Note that student copy pages are available for print or download. Alignments with Common Core and Next Generation Science Standards are located in the File section, along with any Spanish translations. Direct links to Common Core and Next Generation Science Standards are at the bottom. Additional resources to use with the activity can be found under the Resources tab, and you can now keep personal notes on how you prefer to run any given activity, and they will still be there when you log back in. DiscoverWater.org is aimed at students in upper elementary and middle school. There are no passwords and students take their own journey in any of the topic areas listed at the top to learn more about water science and management. National standards correlations for WET 2.0 include Common Core State Standards for Literacy and Mathematics, Next Generation Science Standards, National Science Standards Framework, and the NOAA Climate and Ocean Principles. A national team went through a deliberate process to identify correlations, which you will see on the next few slides. This is a quick snapshot of Project WET activity connections to NGSS performance expectations and the strength of the connection. This is an example of a detailed Project WET activity correlation and realignment document for NGSS. A national team used the architecture of NGSS that teachers will need to learn anyway to make it easier for teachers to see and map activity connections. This process included a review of common core connections and suggestions for enhancing activities. It also included grade band correlations to other cross-cutting concepts in science and engineering practices, or SEPs as requested by teachers reviewing Project WET and GSS correlations. Correlators were tasked with mapping potential realignment of activities to strengthen NGSS correlations. This slide provides correlator notes to demonstrate the intentionality behind this process. Additional Project WET resources are pictured here. Of interest, Project WET has a Discover Watershed Guide for the Colorado and the Rio Grande which is also available in Spanish. Project WET also has a series of supplemental materials, as well as more narratives to use while teaching water education, including the rain stick and spring water's gathering places pictured here. The early childhood module is available for purchase as a booklet in paper or digital form. It was designed in partnership with Head Start and other early childhood education professionals. Separate trainings can be offered on getting little feet wet upon request. The newest Project WET guide, Climate, Water, and Resilience, helps educators teach middle and high school students about climate and climate change using interactive, objective, science-based activities that students will enjoy. Unlike other Project WET publications, the activities in this guide are meant to be taught in sequential order. The Colorado Project WET Facilitator Handbook reviews workshop requirements and permissions policies. It also includes sample agendas, sign-in sheets, and evaluations, among other resources. Facilitators are required to send a workshop proposal to the state coordinator prior to moving forward with the workshop, as well as submitting follow-up materials to the state coordinator after the workshop. Now for some ideas about adapting and enhancing Project WET activities for the Colorado context. Development of the technical update to the Colorado Water Plan included five scenarios based on water supply, climate status, social values, and agricultural water needs, and municipal and industrial water supply needs. I encourage you to consider these different scenarios as you adapt your Project WET lessons. For activities such as Blue River, which include modeling a hydrograph and flow, consider using the National Water Information System through USGS. 
Through this system, you can find stream gauges around the state that provide flow data over time. By zooming in, you can find the gauge. This particular USGS gauge is on the Snake River near Montezuma, Colorado and the Keystone Resort. Notice how you can click on Access Data. Here is a graph of discharge in cubic feet per second from the USGS gauge on the Snake River in a logarithmic scale. Students and educators can use these hydrographs to determine the relative flow at different times of year and to adjust their models accordingly. As you can imagine, similar adaptations can be made to activities by accessing snow tail data for snowpack estimates. The use of local data is a great way to make water education locally relevant. Another important resource for Colorado's water educators is the Statewide Water Education Action Plan. I will now provide a brief overview of SWEEP, Colorado's first statewide education action plan designed to support the water plan's goal of sustainable water by 2050. I will touch on the need for SWEEP, how it was created, how it works, how you can get involved, and the next steps for SWEEP. The Colorado Water Plan predicts a water supply shortfall of 500,000 acre feet or more by 2050. The education and outreach objectives of the Colorado Water Plan call to expand outreach and education efforts that engage the public to promote well-informed community discourse and decision-making regarding balanced water solutions. A coalition of educators that created SWEEP also recognized the need to empower Coloradans to take an active role in their communities and to make informed decisions about critical water issues impacting those communities. SWEEP was developed through funding from the Colorado Water Plan Grants and USDA Think Water Grants. Water Education Colorado contracted with Conservation Impact to run a collaborative process, undertake a situational analysis, and conduct stakeholder interviews with a diversity of interviewees from around the state. The SWEEP Coalition established the framework for the plan through a strategic planning process. This included the identification of vision and impact statements, shared outcomes, and strategies. The identification of actions will occur at the program or organizational level, even the basin level. SWEEP is a five-year plan that is Colorado-specific. It aims to strengthen local and regional water education activities through a shared vision that will advance Colorado's water plan. As you recall, Project WET activities are based around educational stages from awareness to participation to finding solutions to water resource problems. In the case of SWEEP, the SWEEP Coalition used an education continuum that categorizes outcomes according to awareness, knowledge and skills, behavior change, and systems change. You will also notice that the different disciplines and strategies help support and advance each outcome. This defines what we mean by water educator and how educators in Colorado contribute to the sweep impact. While a public relations professional may not be utilizing the same strategies as a classroom educator, they both contribute to advancing sweep outcomes and to reaching the sweep vision. The strategic framework is the backbone of sweep and is built around the idea that with a shared vision, guiding principles, and a core set of shared outcomes, Individual actions will achieve the greatest possible impact, both locally and statewide. Notice that the strategic framework is contained within the water plan goal of sustainable water by 2050. The water plan solutions, the water education outreach and public engagement chapter of the Colorado water plan. And then the sweep education continuum is carried forward into the strategic framework for sweep. You will see that the outcomes are each categorized according to the sweep continuum. Under each outcome will be metrics and strategies, as well as basin and local actions to be developed in response to local needs and audiences. Another big step forward by the sweep coalition was the identification of six critical water concepts. These are the foundational understandings needed to effectively participate in discourse and decision making regarding critical water issues in Colorado. You can compare these to the water concepts used by Project WET. Notice that each concept is carefully balanced to reflect the reality in Colorado's water. For example, 
Concept number four notes that water cycles naturally through Colorado's watersheds. And it also balances that by noting that water is often intercepted and manipulated through an extensive infrastructure system built by people. Overlaying the plan are also a set of eight guiding principles. These principles guide the work of educators implementing SWEEP and, among others, include that water education is objective and fact-based, that water education is accessible, engaging, and striving for equity, and that SWEEP is implemented across Colorado. The 10 SWEEP outcomes are organized by discipline. For those utilizing Project WET curriculum, you are advancing the awareness and knowledge and skills outcomes for SWEEP. In addition, Project WET curriculum can also support the behavior change and systems change outcomes in SWEEP. Just as the Project WET educational stages lead to participation and solutions to water resource problems, we anticipate that SWEEP strategies taken together and including use of Project WET curriculum can increase participation in community discourse and decision making. If implemented effectively, Project Wet resources can also increase the proportion of Coloradans in each river basin that are demonstrating sustainable water behaviors. Ultimately, having water literate learners in Colorado can ultimately lead to systems change outcomes, such as local and state policies, regulations, and practices that demonstrate a consideration of impacts on sustainable resources. As mentioned, SWEEP bridges water education gaps across the state by supporting and expanding educator reach with a shared vision. Organizations and individual educators will develop actions to meet their unique needs and interests of their communities, while also contributing to the shared outcomes identified in SWEEP. No one is expected to address every outcome or embrace every strategy. This graphic illustrates what each group can do to participate. For Project WET educators, you are encouraged to identify alignment to SWEEP, contribute to the statewide strategy, amplify the statewide effort within your networks, as well as having statewide celebration of your efforts and by sharing resources. SWEEP was finalized in November of 2019 and launched with a website and executive summary in January through March of 2020. A small team supporting SWEEP has been meeting with partners around the state. We have also been working on identifying baselines to measure progress on SWEEP metrics and we'll continue that through the end of the year. We will also be developing resources and toolkits for the highest priority needs as identified through outreach to active or potential SWEEP participants. To help move the needle on SWEEP, we invite you to learn more by visiting the SWEEP website at cowateredplan.org. There you can download the SWEEP executive summary or find supporting information for the critical water concepts. You can also support SWEEP by submitting an endorsement on behalf of your organization. We invite you to start implementing SWEEP right now. Let us know what you are doing and what resources you need by filling out the SWEEP form on the Get Involved page at cowateredplan.org. For more information on SWEEP or to reach out with questions or opportunities, please contact either Jayla Poppleton or myself, Scott Williamson at the contact information noted on the slide. And finally, one of the groups leading the SWEEP effort will be the Water Educator Network, a force of water education and outreach professionals around the state, enhancing the amount, quality, and effectiveness of water education throughout Colorado. Consider getting involved with the Water Educator Network and visit the Water Educator Network page at wateredco.org to learn more. I encourage you to expand your impact by considering how your use of Project Wet activities may advance SWEEP and how you might contribute to the collective impact of water education across Colorado by becoming involved in WIN. If you have questions, please contact me at scott at wateredco.org. This is now the end of the Project Wet Overview webinar. Thank you for joining us.